I'm guessing that's the main character. Okay, somehow this reminded me of Temp and Temp and Girl and Logan. Just the colors and the ridiculousness. It's about two secret organizations trying to rule over the world and both have the top assassin do-gooder and wrong-gooder <laughs> that really don't like their clothes and want to get out of it all the time. Okay, this show, Kill a Kill, Kill La Kill, uh, is about how if I know. Yeah, no, that definitely reminded me of Tempin Tempin Gunnvagen. I almost, for some reason, I kept thinking they'd be in school because I guess in the beginning there were a whole bunch of people in, like, with no, you know, detailed faces in the background and school uniforms. But I guess they get the pro protagonist or important character exemption from sort of school uniform. Maybe there's no school, but it looked like they were supposed to be a school or military academy. They were fighting. I think it's some sort of a story about, like, there, there appeared to be a couple of people who were enemies and who were fighting, and it looks like they transform into kind of like their superhero selves to fight each other. But, of course, it involves their clothes, like, flying off while they're floating in air, because, like, I think Sailor Moon does that, and apparently so does this. I, I don't understand it. They possibly were best friends once, and never more, because they had to go to each respective organization. Okay, and then there were a whole lot of people, all wearing the same thing. I don't know, maybe, maybe she goes to a school, but they didn't look like school people. Maybe she lives in some sort of metropolis where... They are the drudging workers. And the person who I'm certain is the main character, the black-haired chick who had a lot of red, orange, and blue. Uh, and went around with her entire chest, you know, and abdomen exposed. If you're going to be fighting anyone, there's a reason people that wear armor survive better than those that don't. And there's a whole bunch of other characters, but they went past too fast for me to notice anything about them except that some of them were dressed weird. Imagine the main character. I am They expressed more for the dark-dressed character than the light-dressed one. So I don't know. Maybe it's about both of them are the main character. And maybe they're sisters or something. And now they're on opposite ends of the spectrum. Or maybe they were once lovers. Yeah, there was a different uh, dark-haired chick who was dressed in more white but had a similar opposite color, spe color scheme. If she's not the rival or the arch enemy, rival or arch enemy, I would be very surprised. Uh, the one who got the most kind of screen time at the beginning was like like a, a girl who was in a uniform, but then she was like ripping it off and looking angry. They didn't seem to be a main guy character. That's somewhat unusual. Just the main female. Hmm. I also finally saw a male, male some some ex, some exaggeration and, and camera focusing on a male genitalia. Finally, when we went through that guy's legs, didn't see that in any other place. Oh. So yeah, there's like this girl with shorter hair, and there's this girl with long hair, and they're enemies, and they fight with swords. I think. Okay, so I think the main character is the girl with the short hair, shorter hair. It's not really short. I like that part of the web of hands to see to say like the web of hands that makes like a whole globe-ish thing and it's red. So I'm guessing that's the evil, evil, the bad side. Oh, while I'm on the topic of the fashion stuff, giant spikes on your shoulder, not, not the best idea. 
can't really get a good grasp on what the heck it's about other than it's good to have it has there's two groups and they both are fighting okay number one it's going to be unbalanced you know you're going to have that cape fall over number two they're going to you know you're going to get knocked into the ground and they're going to snap off and all of a sudden you're going to have it like getting rammed into the side of your head and you're going to accidentally kill yourself and won't that just be humiliating i think the highlight was this the the focus on the male genitalia. I think it finally gave a, a well-rounded image that was fair. And I think the title, Kill La Kill, I think it means that whoever translated the title from Japanese doesn't know English. That or it is still in Japanese, in which case I don't know because I don't know Japanese.